Hi, welcome to a quick tutorial on the LexHub Lexicon tool. This tool allows you to quickly analyze text right here in your web browser. You can simply copy and paste text, or you can upload an entire collection of multiple text samples. And the Lexicon tool will display several types of output, or allow you to download the results into a file that you can use into your analysis program of choice. So, what kind of text analysis can this tool actually perform? Well, currently, the Lexicon tool compares the words in your text sample to several types of lexica, or dictionaries, or word categories, essentially big lists of words. Analyzing the relative use of specific types of words in a text sample is a common method for summarizing a text. For example, you may be interested in how different types of emotions are expressed in text, and so you might want to know how much positive emotion is expressed in a text. Or you might want to compare two or more documents on the relative use of positive emotion words. So one way to do this kind of analysis is to first create a lexicon of positive emotion words, which is essentially a list or a dictionary of different positive emotion words. Then, you take your text sample of interest and count how often these words are used in your text. Several such dictionaries already exist, too. So, rather than create your own new lexicon, you could just use a pre-existing dictionary for your analysis. The words you see here are a few words from one such lexicon that we've developed, the positive emotion lexicon from the PERMA lexica. The full lexicon contains hundreds of words, so what you see here is just a small sample. However, you'll probably notice that some words seem to express more positive emotion than others. For example, words like ecstatic or bliss express strong positive emotions, whereas words like pleasure are still positive, but perhaps less so. So, in our analysis, we'd want to assign different weights to these words accordingly, so very positive words are weighted more heavily than slightly positive words. The PERMA Positive Emotion Lexicon actually includes exactly these kind of weights, as do all of the lexica available in our lexicon tool. During the analysis, the lexicon tool automatically incorporates these weights into its calculations to provide more accurate results. After searching through a text sample, the lexicon tool returns a numeric score for each text, indicating the relative use of positive emotion words. Other lexica are available in the tool to assess other types of sentiment, emotional, or psychological qualities of a text. This kind of analysis can be used to make other types of predictions about the author, too. For example, we also include lexica that can predict the age and gender of an author based on the words used in a text. And we're going to continue to expand our collection of lexica that will be available in the tool allowing you to perform a wide range of analyses right here in the browser. So, now that you've had an overview of the tool, let's go through a simple example to see how this really works in practice. In this walkthrough, I'm going to upload a set of texts, select several lexica from our collection, run the analysis, and then download the results. So let's start by first uploading some text. So in this example, uh, I'm going to be using State of the Union addresses um, as, our, as our running example. Um, I have everything collected in an Excel file, and speeches are arranged in different rows here. So you can see we have an ID column um, that has an identifier for each speech. We have a date column that we can ignore. We have a text column that contains all of the language used in each of the speeches. So remember those header names, ID and text. Now to start using these in the tool, we first just go to Tools, we open up the Lexicon tool, and here you can see we have a few different steps here. We'll start with step one, and just click Add Your Text. And We'll select multiple texts because we have several different samples all in one file. I'll choose File, and I just find my Excel file here. Open it up. And now I have to tell the tool which 
column contains the identifiers and which column contains the text of the species. Done. And we can verify that that actually got uploaded by looking at the items uploaded. There we can see my Excel file, so it's in. So now let's, let, let's select what kind of a lexica we want to track in, this, in these speeches. Uh, I want to use some of the PERMA lexica. So I'm going to select achievement, uh, engagement, meaning, positive emotions, and relationships, and track all of these across all of the speeches. To run it, really straightforward, we just agree to the terms of use and click run. And it's very quick, and now we can just look at the results. Uh, so it takes us right to a page that has all of our results. So you can see for each speech and for each lexica that I've selected, we have a row of results. Um, so here's all of the different uh, lexica that I've selected for the first speech um, and for the second speech, and each one has an associated score. Um, if you want to know more about what that score actually means, you can hover over the question mark. Um, that'll give you a pop-up where you can learn some more about what each of these lexica is actually tracking. Um, now, if we want to actually use this in analysis, we'll want to download this. So we just output to a CSV file. Now, you can open this up, and you could import this into Excel or into SPSS or whatever it is that, that you'd like to analyze your data in, merge it in with other things, and uh, you're all set. So, that should help get you started using the Lexicon tool. Remember to check back often to see if we've added any more Alexa to help you expand your analyses and thanks for watching.